What's up, guys? Sid here. Another episode. Steam Q Horror. What is called Cthulhu? Dark Corners of the Earth. Um, in less words as possible, it's a first-person shooter horror survival. Bam! Uh, actually, it's a really well-made first-person shooter horror survival game. Um, it has elements of shooting, stealth, um, a really cool healing system, lots of really creepy, crawly craziness, all set into the uh, mythos of Lovecraft's little world there, which is kind of cool. Gotta love Cthulhu and the Dagon. Woo! Okay, so uh, we'll start it up. We'll go options. I want to show you how minimalistic this game is. 2005 Xbox, 2006 PC. That's your video options. That's your game options. That's it. The very when you first launch the game through Steam, you can set your resolution. 1920 by 1080 still looks like shit. Doesn't matter because it's such an old game. Um, you can get this game for 10 bucks right now on Steam. Wait for Halloween, you'll get it for about three dollars. All right, so let's go back. Oh, whoa, 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 what happened? Okay, we want to continue the game, and I'll fill you guys in what's going on here in a minute. A visit to the old town. Whenever you suffer sanity loss, you risk developing mental condition. Blah. And we got some kind of lag going on. Okay, so as a recap of what's going on for the story-wise, to you know get you guys filled up, your name is Jack Walter Wallace. Jack, Walters, Waller. Damn, I can't even remember his last name. Uh, anyway, so you play Jack, who's a private eye. Um, in the very beginning, it shows that you're in a mental institution and you're reading all those like crazy Cthulhu, fucking Lovecraft, crazy drawings in your journal diary, whatever it is, and you try to take your own life. Then it flashes back to six years before that, and you're at some kind of crazy ass house full of cultists that are shooting at cops. Um, apparently, all these cultists are killing themselves. So it's kind of like you know, Waco meets Cthulhu. So you go into this house and. You end up in a basement where you open a portal to the other dimension where all of these, you know, crazy old god types live. So after that, you blank out for six years. You have no idea what happens. You're in a mental institution as far as you're awake for five months. They finally release you. No, sorry, is it released you then? God. Anyway, you get out and you're back to detective work. We go to this town because somebody sent us a package for some kind of a job. We go here and we're trying to figure out what happened. Um, right now we're looking for some dude. We accidentally let loose one of the Dagon. A Dagon. And you get a lot of creepy looking motherfuckers like this. Look at that guy. Did you hear about Thomas Waits? Yep. Waits will swing for that. So, Thomas Waits is uh, one of these main guys in the uh, game excuse me, who is being framed for murdering his daughter. Um, who's this guy? <laughs> so this town is not friendly to outsiders. They are being monitored by the order. Oh, apparently they uh, blocked this up. It won't open. Great, okay. So they're being, um, I forget what the order's name is. It's over there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's the order of the Dagon, okay. So the Order of the Dagon is this creepy cult that's got a hold on everybody. You find a couple of normal people like this guy here. Wait, killed his daughter. Don't go telling folks otherwise. And actually it was a Dag Dagon that did it. But every other townsfolk looks like this guy. They got crazy veins coming out, their eyes are all fucked up. I'm starting to think those guys are uh, being controlled by, you know, all those crazy little minions. It's unlocked. So the basic premise of the game is you're a detective, so you'll be doing a lot of detective work, including reading old papers, investigating things, nothing of interest. Tapping F because that's the way I set up your controls. I use tap F for my actions and it's pretty much your action button. Closing doors, opening doors, investigating shit. When you start this game up, go into your controller or control settings and remap your key bindings. For some reason whoever did this game decided to put X as your back pedal button. Why? I have no fucking clue. It was a dumbass mistake. Okay. Oh, okay, that kind of scared me. I thought I heard something, but apparently it was a dog. So now we're... We just talked to Thomas Wade. He gave us a key to go find something in a safe in his store that the Order's been looking for. Uh, apparently the Order's pretty serious. Um, 
long time ago something happened and they murdered a bunch of people and burnt them alive and all this shit. And... Sorry, I thought I heard noises, okay. But anyway, they burned up alive and they pretty much told all the townsfolk, do not speak to outsiders, outsiders are bad. So I'm an outsider. And there's a lot of blood everywhere. She's trying to get in the safe. We should go investigate what she's doing. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap. Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. Okay. And considering your recent break in an entering, I'll let this how about I people ask talk? questions. Have you any idea who I am? No idea. No? I, I really, really don't, don't care. care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind Sorry, I like dancing. Sir. I had this like... <laughs> I'm from Ding. out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. See, the Order's a bunch really? of assholes. Out of town, you say? Yeah. Oh, her eyes are going all crazy shit, too, I'm and she got veins in her face. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Can't tell if glitch Brian? or she's part uh, of the crazy cult. I don't believe I know a Brian. Don't believe I know yeah, a Brian. Right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, somebody look, sitting on the couch the like a jerk face. Around town is that your lover Hi, jerk face. In the hands of the order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. They'll have him killed. That's interesting. My idea. I just wanted a clue. Just so you know, you cannot skip. What do you want me? Things. Oh, let me see your uh, phone. The detective. I'll see if He's I can get it working. Something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. Okay. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. Pop that out. Need the battery popped out. I'm helping people while I'm doing this. Okay, so you're going to run into a lot of that in this game. There's a lot of uh, mini cutscenes of talking, and I mean a lot of talking, and it's all for the investigative purposes. Um, it moves the story along, basically. First, we want to take that because that's our health kit. Uh, so when you go into your inventory, you have three different screens up here. One is morphine. That's uh, for pain healing. You have something that reads the game time, and you have journals. Um, Jack Walters, that's, that's his name, Walters. Uh, okay. So, general evidence, I want to find... See, you have to read through the stuff to find clues of what you're trying to do. Um, I'm trying to remember. No. Nothing's collected. So... Nope, nope, nope. So I don't know what the... I can't remember what the code is for... Safe. I think I might have an idea. Da, 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 da. Nothing of interest here. So I'm gonna try to get into the safe right now and see what happens. Um, so I figured it out. Apparently, sp you have to use space to get off of the fucking thing. So on. Um, I must have made a mistake. Nope, doesn't want to work. I must have made a mistake. He must have made a mistake. Must have, must have, must have. Um. Oh, I think I know what it is. Two. Six. One. Two. Yes, that's it. Okay, I figured it out. So we have... And well, there's our save point. These are save points, just so you know. Okay, so let's get into the. the uh, holds a heavily bound wait till I start talking. The front is embossed with the words "Book, Book of, of Dagon. Dagon." Dagon. Okay, so we got the Book of Dagon. That is important somehow. Um, so the, the main thing in this game is you're trying to discover what happened and uh, trying to solve this case. There is a lot of, like I said, investigating what I just did there, talking to people. Um, there is some first-person shooting elements. This game is heavily survival horror, meaning limited resources. You're not going to find ammo laying all over the place. Health kits, kind of, yeah. So let's take a look in our inventory, okay? So we do have a pistol clip. This is the book. Um, when you use... 
when you come to certain spots, you can't advance unless you use a combination of items. Think of it like Resident Evil, Silent Hill, the classic games. So you want to open your inventory, find your whatever. If you make that sound, you can't use it. Um, I don't know why I have this photo either. Over here, these are different types of medicines. Um, this here is bandages. When you get hurt, you will see where you get hurt at. You can break your leg, you can break your arm. Uh, when you break your arm, it will affect your aiming. If you break your leg, it'll affect your movement. Um, the more damage you take, there's because there's no HUD, you will start to lose. If you start to lose too much blood, the world will start to fade out. Um, the only way to tell how your health is doing is when you hear the sound of your heart beating, which is another it cool won't feature. Budge. Okay, it won't budge. Well, let's go this way. Do, 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 do. On our way out. It's getting late. I better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. Okay. When do I get my gun? Did you hear about Thomas Wade? Let's not be asking about that, stranger. So this is the inn. I want to see if he'll give me a room or not. Uh, there is heavy stealth aspects to this game as well. Um, when you press the shift button, you go into stealth mode. You can hide behind things. You will get chased in this game, so there are doors with stuff like uh, bolts on it. Whoa. Okay, there is something. This thing, I have no idea what it is. I think it's one of the Dagon. They're kind of tracking you. Did you hear? Wait, killed his own daughter, his own flesh and blood. Damn shame. Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean, maybe, Charlie? I see Nelly dragging him off. Caked in blood, he was. Aye. But Birch reckons she were ripped open, Joe. I don't reckon Tom would have the strength for that sort of killing. I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the order to make certain the outsider doesn't leave tonight. Would oh. Be the strange fella you brought into Innsmouth a couple hours back? Yeah. So this bus driver's an asshole, essentially. I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. Okay. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Now, earlier in the night, he did not want to give me a room. Great. But that sounds just swell. Okay. Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? You're starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. Okay, I think from now I'm going to start skipping all of these uh, speaking parts um, just so I can show you guys the gameplay. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Alright, so any All more right. speaking parts, I'm going to cut them I need off. To be telling you something. Excuse me, sir. Innsmouth Law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. Thanks, jerk. Okay, if he leaves that open, I know where the key is. Okay, so there's the key I need. He's gone. It's the key to the back office. Let's go. So from here on out, I'm going to. Oops. What's it you want to make? Where about the lot in the outside? Top of the house. Plenty of rooms up there. <laughs> Probably 401. Okay, good to know. We're in Norham. We're gonna go this way. It's unlocked. Can't see anything of use. The rug is caked and dried. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. 
And we just... The hatchet is encrusted with blood. I'm not touching it. Is that an I eyeball? I wonder what secrets this... I've seen this before. Just now, when I was talking to Gilman. What in God's name has been happening in this place? Wow. That's kind of Norman Bates looking right there. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. Okay, I'm going to skip this if it's talking. If you just follow me, sir, I'll show you to your lodgings. Alright, so this guy's trying I to set me up. There's a killing over the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own it won't daughter. Budge. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. Uh, this guy's weird me out. For what he done. See, I knew he was creepy. I had, I had this feeling he was creepy. So this is the room? Okay. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well. And keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet fog. As you can tell, this is a really old game. That's kind of spooky. Okay. Nope. Nothing important here. Just check to make sure there's the nothing in here. cold enough without opening the window. Just to make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. Nothing of interest. It's late. I don't think it'd be wise to wake the other guests. So apparently I can't move that. Let's go this way. It won't open. It won't open. It won't open. It won't budge. Okay, that's still getting creepier. It won't open. It's locked. So apparently it's locked. I guess they want me to go to sleep. I just don't feel safe going to sleep yet. It's not important. Nope, can't move that. Aha. Nothing of interest. An old wardrobe. I can't sleep here. It's not my room. It's apparently can't move that. You usually can move that because that's obviously been moved already. It's too heavy to move. An old wardrobe. Better. Not exactly safe, but the best I'm going to get in this infernal town. Alright. So if it happens, I'll cut this out and then I'll pick it up on this gameplay. Does it work now? Okay, we're going to skip that because that doesn't matter. Excuse me. Okay, so these are the things you see at the very beginning that make you lose your mind. City of Nakotas. Well, I am yes, recording. Sir, Jack, you are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You will, in time. Gilman, where have you put the outsider? Top 
of the house. Room 401. Come on, let's have it. So, I'm about to get my ass messed up. Please tell me there's a gun somewhere. I want to know who these people are and what they are. They're the elder ones. Damn it. Alright, so they're on their way to come kick my ass. Attack of the fishmen. I scoffed when I first heard it, so I was cleaning the community. Oh, yeah, I forgot the fishmen. Fishmen! Okay, so this little screen shaking effect is your horror meter. You can suffer insanity effects. When you get scared, you get panic attacks, insanity effects, and other things. Because last time I almost made it. I can hear him moving about. Break the door down, you damn fool. Quick, I see the head door. Check the door. So I got the fear factor going on. Come on, we can get it. Come on. How do I get out? There we go. Go, go, go. Okay, so we made it this far. It won't open. Alright, we're trying this again. Um, I want to heal first. There we go, we got sutures. We got a splint. Now we're healing up. I probably shouldn't have done that right now, but it does take time to heal, so probably could have picked better places to do this. He's up there. After him. Shit, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. Don't step on that. I'm pretty sure I have to jump across. Don't let him get that way. Okay, we're almost there. It won't budge. We're almost there. He's going across the roof. This is the farthest I've made it so far. Hold it. Die, outsider. I have no idea where the hell to go. Take him down. Come on. Him. Come on. What was that? Did, did you hear it? Nope, they're gonna kill me before I do anything. For some reason, I'm, I got slow motion going on. Get him! Come on! He's here! It won't get budge. him! I outsider! What is it? Kill him! Come on, run! We're getting there. Where is he? Show him. This is a very big trial and error thing. It's taken me three tries to get this far. Hopefully there's a save point somewhere soon. I don't want to fucking end up losing my progress here. Oh, look at that. 
Okay, so we're past the hard part. We're into the easy stretch. He's lost them off the rope. He's gotta be somewhere in there. Spread out. Start the floor. He's hiding somewhere. So, of course these guys are dag on for sure. I'm starting to be able to see through their eyes. Oh, I didn't see that. So I want to get down there somehow. Okay. So if I'm sneaking, they shouldn't be able to see me. Careful. He's like right there. He's probably going to fucking spot me. So here's another aspect of sneaking around. You don't want to get caught. So while you're sneaking, you want to take a look around corners. Shit, that was close. This seems a little too easy, so where am I going to get busted at? Okay, there's a big freaking wall right there. I couldn't even go around like anywhere close to that freaking crate within like three feet. Stop. What the hell? Oh, rats. Search the area. I lost him. Yes, you did lose me. Those are some big ass rats. Spread out. This is the most action I've seen in this game. Uh, the first like half an hour to forty minutes, it's mostly investigation. set of account books these shelves look light enough to put all the drawers these shelves look light enough to push better watch my step excuse me okay so twice trying to move that and twice trying to move that I've crashed this is a big glitch in this game there's a couple of these where you try to move objects and you will crash at the game and there's no way to advance I believe somebody said you can crouch in advance by crouching and pushing things or turning down your graphic settings. There are other fixes, but I won't get into those. You'll have to search for those yourself. Um, there isn't, after this, there's a little bit more hiding, chasing, and then it gets into a little bit more the survival gunplay. I don't want to get that far ahead because um, God knows how long it's going to take me to get there. I will say, if you like what you see so far, the way the story is going, um, if it piques your interest, do get the game. It's like I said, nine bucks on Steam, ten bucks on Steam. You can get it for three dollars during the Halloween sale. What's not to like? If you like Cthulhu, you like Lovecraft, I would get this game. It's a, it's a great little game. Um, it is very linear. I will give you that. Very very linear, but very story driven. It's awesome. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, and you guys can make up your mind whether you want to try it out or not. I suggest try it out. All right, see you guys in the next video. We. Okay, let's see if this is the way around. Push, push, push. Yeah, no crash. Okay, so apparently getting around cra crashes is to push and uh, crouch and push. I'm going to save that just like that. So yeah, if you want to get around the crashes around the spot, crouch, push your thing, and you're good to go. Alright. So I think I figured this part out. I'm 
Mostly sure. I figured it out. So you can stealth like this, but I choose not to right now. So this guy's not here yet, whereas the other is. Who's there? What was that? Who goes there? And this part fucked up already. He's over there. Get him. Alright, we're gonna hide here. Apparently I can see through, uh... He's disappeared. I have disappeared because I'm awesome. Okay. Oh shit. They're all coming my way, apparently. Okay, so here we go. Stealthing around. That guy's looking over there. If this guy's coming back over here, then I'm gonna have to hide. Nope. 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 Get over there. Get over there. Don't let him see you. Alright, let's get out of here. Don't want to go out, that's too premature. So he's gonna sit there and go that way. Enjoy yourself. Okay. So we're getting there. Um, I'm hoping there's some kind of combat eventually. Okay, so we're we're getting there. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. I wonder if I can get up in there or not. Oh shit, okay, that kind of scared the crap out of me. You see that up there? I see that up there. So obviously I can't go up that way. I don't want him to see me because he's got a rifle. He'll probably kill me if he sees me. So there's a lot of stealth aspects to this game. Um, oh damn. So apparently there is glitches that you can look through crates. He's probably going to end up killing me because why not? 
Please don't see me, please don't see me. Where the hell does this guy go? Okay. That was kind of weird. I figured he would have came all the way down. So I'm obviously missing something here. Yep, time to run away. How the fuck do you guys miss me? Okay, so there's William! For God's sake! Your friend is dead. Jesus Christ, no! You're a fool, Willie. Told you it wasn't safe in there. Look, Freddy. fella, I know you're upset, but I really need some help. Ah, Search the area. You're the outsider they're hunting tonight. You don't have a hope, stranger. The Order's mob will be everywhere you turn. Spread Down the sewers is the only place that them folks balk at venturing. And for good cause at that, mind you. I can cope with foul air. It'll be a change from the stink of dead fish. All right. You're not getting my meaning, stranger. There's rumor of real horrors in the black dankness beneath these streets. Maybe the folk with the taint are devils. But at least they're devils of this earth. You ever hear tell of a shaggoth, stranger? Ooh, Just tell the me how you get into the sores. So yeah, All right. I love been this. Warned. Just the other side of this here building is a road leading down to the filtration plant. There's an open sewer pit down there. Good luck, stranger. Thanks. I'm gonna save this. That should bring me back to full health again. Okay. Obviously can't get up there, so we're gonna go this way. Uh. Yeah, if I end up dying, I'll just go back to the save point. What the hell is that? Go up, go up, go up. I bet you I can make that truck fly down the side. Okay. No, I'm not. Don't let him get away. A sturdy looking metal bar. Okay, so let's check out what this bar is for. Don't let him escape. So I have no idea what the bar is. Oh, I see now. There we go. Jam it through. Oh, Bring damn. So. Okay, apparently that's like deadly as shit. I should use. Uh, if I have a uh, health kit, I'll use a health kit.
Okay, Attack of the Fishmen. I didn't get a chance to read that. Alright, so I've got a wound on my head, so we're gonna click here. So there, you can see where you can see where the bodies are. There. So I'm going to administer some health on myself. I should be good for a little bit. I hear kids laughing, which is kind of creepy. Whoa! That was the dead girl. That was the girl that got killed. Ah, shit! It's corrosive! So we're going to avoid all that stuff, because it's corrosive! And there's blood up here, and of course another safe spot. <gasps> oh, damn! So here comes the horror, I guess. His body is covered in this slimy muck. Interesting. Interesting. So, as you can hear, my my heart's going. Did you hear that? He said he's being followed. His, he's starting to lose his mind. An old metal cabinet. It's empty. Who's Who's following you, jerk? She's following me. I can feel her. What is that? There's something down here. It's coated in slime. I'm not touching it. Interesting. So I do have to figure out why that's not opening. The water looks reasonably clean. I just need to drain it away. Now how do I drain it? Oops, kind of hurt myself there. So you gotta be careful when you're jumping. Um, so we're going down. This is where the game's starting to get creepy. Whoa! Somebody hung themselves. And we're going back to a flashback of when he was in the mental ward.
Oh, he's tripping balls. Looks like the main sewer pipe. The grating has been heavily damaged. Whoa. I can't make out anything in that blackness. Looks like the main sewer pipe. The grating has been heavily damaged. Oh, okay, so it's time to get out of here before we die. She's following me. I can feel her. He's wigging out. We need to get him in some sunlight or something. She's here. Why? Why did I come here? Yeah, why did you come here, you jackass? Hey, she, why is... Now it's starting to turn into a nice trippy little game. I am not going down there. Oh wait, I have to go down there. Lovely. All right. So we did get into some horror parts that way you can actually see what the game's like. Wow. Yeah, I'm totally losing my shit. I oh, I broke my my leg is why. There we go. And apparently, I'm poisoned. So. So now we're all better, kind of. Grating is loose. That hasn't been tightly fixed in place. The grate doesn't seem to be fastened securely. The grating is loose. It hasn't been tightly fixed in place. Can you see anything? Hmm. The grate doesn't seem to be fastened there. securely. That was too loud to be any kind of animal. Take him down! <laughs> ah, I killed myself. Alright, I'm gonna leave it once this loads. There we go. I'm gonna leave it there, because that's... You get to see some horror, you get to see some stealth. There's no shooting yet, but I mean, that doesn't really matter that much, does it? Does it? Okay, maybe just a little bit. Alright, uh, yeah, no, uh, Call of Cthulhu, Cthulhu, whatever you want to pronounce it as. Ten bucks Steam. Um, published by Beth Bethesda, so I mean, the storyline's great. Very creepy, very eerie, as you can see. Um, there are some jump scares here and there. Okay, that was just creepy. I'm scared. That's great. You go be scared by yourself. You can get it on sale around Halloween for nine bucks or three bucks. Okay, shut up. You're creeping me the fuck out, lady. So yeah, even your movement, you're kind of see, you're freaking out. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. I will catch you guys after with another episode of my Halloween. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know what you are doing for Halloween. Um, if there's any other games you guys want to see, let me know as well. Just leave a comment in the bottom saying what kind of game you want to see me cover. Alright, I'm out. Call of Cthulhu. Buy it. Later.